We're going to talk about some history here in the Keys for a couple of minutes. Now, the former number three fire station is now the Key West Firehouse Museum. This museum is dedicated to preserving the history of firefighting here in the Keys. The old fire station number three is actually one of the largest fire stations in the state of Florida. Now, to give you a little flashback, when the fire department opened, there were only 12 paid men, 200 volunteers, horse-drawn steamers, and hose carriages. Things sure have changed since then. Alex, thank you so much for being on the show with me this morning. Thank you for having me. Now, Alex, tell our viewers about your relationship with the Key West Firehouse Museum. Well, I was uh, in the fire department for 30 years, retired at the end of 2005. Uh, my father was a firefighter, and my uncle I had cousins, brother-in-law, so I have have like a family tradition with the fire department. And then also, I guess, my grandmother grew up as a little girl on Packard Street, which is the street behind the firehouse. And then my mother grew up uh, across the street from the firehouse in the 1930s and 40s. So I always heard stories about the firehouse, the firemen, the fire horses. So I guess that kind of bonded me with the station also. Mm -hmm. it, it's in your blood, firefighting. Yes. <laughs> Definitely in your blood. Okay, why did you decide to get involved with the Key West Firehouse Museum, Alex? Well, I actually got involved back, uh, I would say, 1992, 20 years already. Look at the time, just flies by. But uh, the um, city was talking about uh, building a new fire station, even back then, and they were looking for a location. But meantime, they were talking about converting it into a uh, garage, uh, condominiums, uh, knocking it down. I mean, there was just all these uh, scenarios that I was hearing, so I said, you know, we should preserve this building for future generations. So um, that's when I started to get involved, and I, I started bringing public awareness that the firehouse was there. Went to the city planning department with a, at that time there was a, a man named uh, Gene Burr, and he helped me uh, get a feasibility study together through the state and made the state aware that the station was there. Mm -hmm. So that's how I more or less taught her to get involved and also the other reason also um, was the uh, old timers used to come to the firehouse because I was stationed there in the late 70s up until 1980 and uh, they used to come on the bench and sit down and tell their old stories and stuff and this went on for about you know 10 years or so I guess and um, they used I, to tell their stories at the, yeah, at the station and, and I was a good listener I guess because mm -hmm. a lot of the guys would listen and just walk sort of walk away you know but mm -hmm. I would stay there and listen to their stories and and ask him questions, and uh, about 10 or so years went by, and I noticed these guys are passing away, so I'm saying it's a shame that somebody's not preserving these stories and putting them down or doing something with them, um, because they'll be lost forever, you know? Mm -hmm. So I kept a lot of these stories in my head, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when I uh, decided to do the book, and mm -hmm. I came out with this book uh, the early part of the year. Right, the history yes. of Key West Firehouse number three. So this has all these stories of these men who were firefighters back when it started? Mm -hmm. Not all the stories, Not but it has okay. a, a good <laughs> amount of stories in it. And, and I, I tried to get uh, more stories, but uh, you, I was limited to so much room. So um, the second book is going to have you know, more stories and, and uh, more photos. Mm -hmm. So that, that would be for another year, because it takes a while. It took me 15 years to get to that point. So I hope <laughs> it doesn't take me 15 years for the second one. OK. Now, what can the community do to help the Firehouse Museum, Alex? Well, we just had a fundraiser at the Bottle Camp uh, Friday, and we had a good response from the community. We always do. I appreciate the community. They're uh, a good, uh, Key West has a good, uh, generous giving mm -hmm. community. I mean, every time we have fundraisers, no matter what, what the, the uh, situation is, people respond really well. So without them, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today, believe me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if they want to donate, uh, we have our website, which is the Key West Firehouse Museum. And also on our website, we have lots of old photos of fires and lots of old photos of the firemen. Uh, we have uh, my books on there. We have T-shirts. Um, mm -hmm. We also have the Facebook page, mm -hmm. which is Facebook, uh, I think, slash Firehouse Tree. Mm -hmm. There's more pictures on there. So The pictures that our viewers can see behind us, Alex, it's crazy that this is how it used to be back then. This oh, wasn't yeah. how it was when you started, though, right? Oh, no. <laughs> even, even though some of the guys teased me and said, yeah, hey, I was a fireman when they had horses, I said, I just go along with it, you know. <laughs> but no, when I was in the 70s, it was still pretty, I had to change a whole lot when I was in the 70s. It's still, the horse stalls were gone, of course, but um, it still was a pretty rough place to, to work because it was the action spot. Because that fire station covered the whole city from one end to the other, including Stock Island, big mm -hmm. carpet sometimes, and 
Safety Haven. So if there was a fire in any one of those areas, you stationed there, you went. So everybody mm -hmm. wanted to work there, but um, it wasn't that easy to get transferred there. That was mm -hmm. another thing. That's another story. Yeah, but, okay. uh, <laughs> but the station itself, uh, you know, some guys described it as a dump, but everybody wanted to work there because mm -hmm. it was okay. a neighborhood station. Everybody wanted to work at number three. Neighborhood station. The neighbors would bring us cookies and cakes and pies and stuff like that, and they would come and play cards. And so we mingled with the, with the neighbors a lot, so we knew all the neighbors within a square block area. And they felt safe with us being there. Mm -hmm. Whenever they had a problem with one of their ch children, they would bring them to the station. And we had one, one time coming, the kid was choking. And, and get the whatever was allowed and throw it out, mm -hmm. saved his life, and then other times kids with a broken arm or cut. You so, were there. So there a few of those occasions I was there. I wasn't there for the choking one thing, you know, <laughs> but, but uh, they, you never knew what, you know, what was going to come your way mm -hmm. uh, during the day there. Okay, and for more stories about this, you can check out Alex's book, The History of Key West Firehouse Number 3. Thank you for sharing this information with our viewers. My pleasure, my on. pleasure. Check them out on the web and also check them out on Facebook. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.